breaking news involving Bryce James, the younger son of LeBron. He received an offer from Ohio State basketball after his visit today. Um, you see him clearly in Ohio State threads. Man, this might seem like deja vu. We're going to get all into it. Bryce James is extremely blessed to receive an offer from the Ohio State Buckeyes. You see him put out um, tweets on Twitter, X, or whatever you want to call it. You know, go Buckeyes. Salute the Buckeye Nation. If you rocking with the Buckeyes, make sure you subscribe to Flight Sports TV. You hit the like button. There's a lot of big things popping off. Um, listen, Bryce James, if he was to come to Ohio State, it would send shockwaves throughout sports. Um, I know that they was awaiting Bronny because, like I said, it seemed like deja vu. It was like we was here a year ago with Bronny James, you know, basically saying he's not committed, but he basically was in these areas. Send out Bronny and shockwaves. You know, we usually don't see people do it the way the James gang is doing it is, it is like I said, it's very unorthodox um, in its own right, you know, um, but, you know, the youngest son of, of Lakers superstar LeBron James received his second official offer to play college basketball, you know, and the, as, as you can see, it was from X. It, he posted from X, let it be known it was Ohio State. You know, he took his unofficial visit to Ohio State uh, he got a lot of different picks. James also was in attendance for Ohio State's football's 37-17 win over Maryland. Um, so clearly you see they, they got him all out there. Uh, and like I said, they are waiting his arrival. Let's see if he makes that commitment. Um, we all know that people wanted to see him, see Bronny there, but it's unfortunate. But James, you know, is gonna follow in his own path. He's already done it. Bronny left Sierra Canyon. Bryce, he moved, he left Sierra Canyon. So you, you see him not moving in the same exact footsteps, you know, but it is what it is at the end of the day. Um, Bronny, he had a bunch of offers, you know, he took his visit, but he ultimately committed to the USC Trojans. Um, and we're going to get word on that situation. Uh, Browning has been going through his own set of endeavors as well. Uh, obviously, the cardiac arrest that sent shockwaves throughout sports media. People um, are still in the frenzy behind that news. We want to wish Browning and the James family nothing but the best. Um, nobody wants to hear anything like this, especially coming from a child. Uh, like like Bronny, uh, basically a child we all watch grow up before our very eyes. So nobody wants to see something like this take place, you know, and that's first. But it is what it is. Uh, Bryce, back to Bryce James, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he began his basketball career at Sierra Canyon uh, with his brother. Uh, he transferred to Campbell Hall you know, where he played in the spring, and he's currently a junior at Notre Dame in Sherman Oaks, California. So Bryce is maneuvering around getting it right. You know, uh, LeBron James, let it be known that it's his time now. You know, let's go Maximus. So uh, he's a six foot four shooting guard, you know, a three-star prospect in the class of 2025. This is being reported. Um. You know, he's playing with, you know, some talent, you know, where he is, you know, but he's still got a long way to go in his recruitment, but it's possible many more offers will come, you know, um, but it is what it is. It's unclear if LeBron has any preferences where Bryce plays, even though, you know, listen, LeBron, Jen, well, I will give LeBron this. He is completely absent from the recruiting process. You don't see him all up in the videos, well, at least right here with Bryce, where Bronny it seemed like like he was front and center, making sure everything is situated. But I would think that it was a USC connection in place. I'd be shocked if it wasn't. You know, USC, they pretty much opened up the doors, you know, for him and, you know, his brother. And if it, dude, this, this is me, you know, I, I just see 
a pathway where he follows his brother. And I don't mean follow him in a, um, in a bad way. It just, I, it, something's just telling me that I know that LeBron, I, I'm not 100% sure, but where it was that LeBron invested some money into USC, you know, something's telling me that it, it, it was a package deal in place. It was going to be a situation for Bronny and Bryce to play for the USC Trojans. And, and as you can see, the process for Bryce right now, is seeming pretty much very reminiscent of what we witnessed with Bronny. So I'm just expecting it all to go as planned for it to continue to go as it's going, the recruiting process, and then for him to ultimately, you know, commit to the USC Trojans to follow in his brother's footsteps. Uh, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that was in the cards when they discussed, when they all sat down to get Bronny. That's, that's, just, that's just me. Let me know in the comment section what's your thoughts on what I just said. How do you feel about a situation like that with, with Bryce pretty much doing the same thing that Bronny did? Um, Bryce is going to be a good kid. You know, he's an All-American. and that's, that's why I want to let the people know he's that kind of talent. And we're going to see it firsthand. A lot of people don't know much about Bryce because Bronny was... Part of me just receiving all of the headlines, but we are about to see how talented this kid is. Remember, Bronny didn't come on, he didn't come on early. You know, a lot of people didn't see the the flare and the flash right away. You know, people started to see it later, and that's what people is gonna see with Bryce. You know, like a, like I said, his game to maybe a first glance is not eye catching. You know, but. If you watch him and watch him, you will see that as a young man who just continued to develop and develop himself into an All-American prospect, a three-star recruit, you know, all of this being the son of LeBron James, you know, that's not easy. You know, you got all this expectations, all this pressure, you know, they, they'll try to downplay it and discredit it, but all of that stuff is there, you know, and they have to overcome it daily. You know, and, and be the best version of themselves. But here at Flight Sports, we, we're going to back Bryce. You know, we, we definitely wish him nothing but the best. But it is what it is. Bryce James, you know, he received his offer from Ohio State. He took his visit. And he's basically getting treated, you know, with the red carpet treatment. They're trying to get this man down. They think they're playing games. You know, um, so let me know in the comment section where do you believe he will be playing basketball, you know, when it's all said and done. Does it, does it align with the statements that I said? Let's talk. It's Flight Sports TV. Make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe. Peace and love.